Okay, so here we are at the property. I'm going to turn around and show it to you. This is the driveway coming up to the property from the main road. So that's technically your front yard. And then over here would be the side yard. And it looks like they have a gravel um, driveway on up to, oh, I don't know if that, no, that's the neighbors. Well, I can't tell. Let's go look. I thought maybe it turned and went down here into the basement access. Yeah, it does. Okay, so this is your driveway to the downstairs garage. The garage is right there. And then there's quite a dip there at the end. And then you can access the street from down there. So you do have kind of an unobstructed view of your neighbor on this side over here. And that house is for sale as well. It says it's pending. And then this is the house. So you come up this drive from the street and this is your driveway. It's just all a big concrete pad. So you could park three cars there easily. All right. I wanted to get the outside before the rain came because, you know, monsoon season in Kentucky. All right, coming up to the front of the house. And you step in. So here's your living room area. It is carpeted. The carpet looks fairly worn. You have stairs immediately off the front door down into the basement. There's a little bay window right here in the front. If we come over here, we have a hall closet. And then on this side, we have two bedrooms. Bedroom number one, they have set up as an office. Here's the closet. It's a standard size closet. And then over here we have the bathroom that services the main floor. There's tile on the floor. It's a single vanity. Sh uh, tub shower insert. Look at that teeny tiny window up there. Okay. And then over here we have second bedroom. About the same size as the first. The closet appears to be the same size. Holy mackerel. Oh, we know where all that toilet paper went. And then, oh, <laughs> they were ready, guys. <laughs> and then, uh, so this is the backyard view from this window here. So it does have a pretty view off this bedroom. It looks like this is their garden, and it's giant. Okay, so back into this area. So this is your living area, living room. Um, you've got the stairway here. It's kind of an odd configuration with that bay window there and then this slanty wall right here. But that is an extra wide doorway there. 
and we'll come into the kitchen area. These are hardwood floors. So it's an eat-in kitchen. It has Formica countertops. It has a Frigidaire dishwasher, Frigidaire flat top range. The microwave does not say, oh yep, Samsung. And a side-by-side -side fridge, which is a Whirlpool. Another closet here. This is pantry for the kitchen. Here's your laundry. So we have linoleum on the floor in the laundry. In this door we have, is this the access to the garage? Okay, so this is the access to the garage. Three car, you've got five steps down. So this is kind of awkward if you're coming in through the garage because you have to come in and then shut this door and then open this door okay. and then coming in here is the master bedroom they've got some theme music playing for us easy listening. This one does have a true walk-in closet, which is fairly large. And uh, your windows, I think, probably also view the back. Yep. Pretty views to the back. And then your master bath. Again, we have tile on the floor, dual vanities, uh, jetted tub. You have an extra wide shower, um, but it is the insert, it's not real tile. The stool is in a separate room. And then linen closet, which is pretty good size. Okay, let's go see what the downstairs looks like. Let's go actually, let's go out back first. So we have French doors, only one side works. Oh, started raining while we were inside. Told you, Kentucky's monsoon season. All right, so you've got a concrete area right off the kitchen, which is nice. And then here's the fenced backyard area. And then they have this area separated. It's fairly overgrown, but I'd love to go pick some of those tomatoes over there. So this would be the garden area that they have separated. And then of course that area over there as well, which is fenced separately. Um, they have, it looks like a dog or something. So you can see the property up behind you and this outbuilding belongs to this house over here. Okay, e kudishka. I could use a coat of paint. Okay, we're gonna go look downstairs now. And 
and again, there's there's wear, and, and clearly they have pets. Um, you'll see that throughout, and I know that that's not an issue for you guys because you're going to be replacing pretty much everything anyway, but just wanted to give you kind of a heads up. There's been a really bored and lonely dog here. And it does, um, there is a bit of an odor, pet odor in the house. Okay, here we are in the basement. So you come in through this unfinished area. I see some cracking in the floor, but it doesn't look like it's too dramatic. We have this area set up as a gym, but we do have some walls in here. So yeah, this is the door that goes to that second fenced area. They have a doggy door here. And so this is how Fido goes in and out. Right here like this. And then there's the gravel driveway that goes up to the garage side right there. And we'll come look at that in a minute. All right. So currently unfinished space could be finished. You'd have to frame it such that that plumbing would be encased or move it. And then the ceiling um, wouldn't be able to be super high because, I mean low because of that or high because of the duct working, but potential. So this is garage number two. Let's find the light switch. Oh Lord, right here it is maybe. Or maybe it's the door opener. There we go. Okay, garage, downstairs garage. And it is indeed just one car garage. So um, for a workshop, it's not giant, but it's pretty long. So the truck is parked here and there's plenty of room to walk behind it. So it's probably longer than a standard garage. And then we'll come over here. I'm curious. Oh, I thought that that insulation was coming down into that box, but it's just a box. Okay, and then this must be the area that is finished over here. So you come down the stairs and to your right is the area that they have finished. So we have bathroom here. Hmm. Okay, linoleum on the floor, super basic vanity. But the ceiling is high, which is nice. Shove tower, sh tub shower insert, and a stool. So it's a full bath downstairs. Never seen that before. All right. And then over here we have, it's behind door number two, furnace room. So linoleum on the floor. Here's your HVAC system. I don't see, I don't see a tag that's got a date on it. There's the stats for you. Your hot water heater's tucked in back there. Looks like he's got some pegboard back there with stuff on it. Oh, there's another door over there. Okay, I was like, how do you get to that? Um, and then we have a framed for a door here and extra storage that they have. All right. Moving right along, come back to the main room. And it is just a long, narrow room.
that noise is the door vibrating from the HVAC. So here's the other side. And then here's your hot water heater. The linoleum is lifting. It's been split right here. Okay. And then, oh yeah, that would drive me nuts. So you do have a little bit of a lower ceiling on this side there where they've encased the ducting and plumbing work. And here is your electrical box. Let's see if I can get to it. Yeah, there it is. And so the area that they did finish, it, it looks like they've done a good job with it. I mean, it doesn't look like a DIY looks like it was maybe finished at the time they purchased the home ceilings are nice and high all right guys that concludes this one let me know what you think uh, I suspect they'll have multiple offers on it um, and let me know if you have any questions all right bye